Our family certified organic farm gets a notice in the mail with big letters. This is not a bill from the Harrison County, Texas uh, tax department. And it says that if we protest this amount that we're gonna, <laughs> it's not a bill, mind you. But if we don't protest, we will have to pay 31,000 or almost $31,000 just to live on our property. That's not an income tax. That's not sort of special fees, anything. That's just a tax, a property tax to live on our property that is paid for. And we don't have any big, large, luxurious mansions or homes out here. We have this nice little cabin behind me. It's 50 by 50. We have a nice uh, second home here that is uh, 42 feet by 42 feet. All the rest of the buildings on this property are directly related to agriculture. And of course it's nice, look behind me. Uh, we keep it manicured, we like to cut the grass, we like to keep it clean and pretty. But whenever the government says, you will pay us $31,000, and if you dispute that amount, you can stop your productive activity and come fight us. You can fill out this protest form, which they're so gracious to include in the mail, to stop our productive activity, to stop growing produce, to stop growing our business, to hire more people in this poverty-stricken county. No, you can't do that. You have to stop that productive work and fill out this additional paperwork and then come fight us. Then go before the board to fight. And then if you don't like that, you can go to arbitration or file suit against them in district court. Well, we wonder why we have a rust belt in America. We wonder why we have a shrinking middle class in America. It's pretty simple. Why would anybody want to spend any amount of money on any building, on any property, improving their homes, improving anything, when every time you do something, paint, build a nice little structure, build a hay barn, whatever it is, you're going to be penalized for it. Now, our property is paid for. The hard work, the hard money that we've saved and earned, risk that we have taken, now they want to penalize. Now, they weren't there for all the many failures and struggles that we've had over the years. No, no, they weren't there for any of that. They just want to tax us for living on the property. If we don't pay, it's pretty simple than what most people don't realize and fail to understand. It is exactly like the mafia. If we do not pay, they will sell our property at a sheriff's sale. If we then fail to move, the sheriff will by force remove us from the property. Well, they can try to remove us from the property. Now that is much worse than the Mexican drug cartel. That is much worse than the mafia. They have a legal right to extort the people. That includes you and obviously us. We wonder why all of these businesses take their companies overseas because you're penalized in the United States. Why have workers here? Why build anything nice? Why improve the community? Why go out on a limb and take those risks when you have people that act just like the Gestapo coming and scouring your property like they did last week to take all sorts of little measurements and see what we keep manicured and what we don't so they can tax us for being nice and pretty. It is shameful. It is not the America that our forefathers had envisioned where you can come and build something nice and employ people, grow things, grow all this beautiful organic fruit that feeds uh, many citizens and all the schools that we supply, all of the uh, different institutions and restaurants, all these people that rave about our products. I just, they love it. People cannot get enough of our organic food and we brought it here to Harrison County. Had we have known that we were gonna get punished for bringing a simple family organic farm here, we would have not done it. I just would not have done it. Now, that is sad. That is a sad statement for the state of this country and it goes to the heart of what is wrong. If men like me refuse to get punished anymore and refuse to grow our business anymore, we wonder why the standard of living in this country continues to go down. Because men like me have had enough. The middle class has had enough. The poor keep getting poor. The middle class keep getting poor. 
of course the one percent of the one percent keep taking and taking and of course the governments take all they can we have had enough and it requires all of us to stand up to say enough is enough if we all just stop paying this ridiculous extortion well things would just come to an end now wouldn't they we would like for y'all to stand up with us anybody who feels so inclined please contact the harrison county sheriff's not sheriff's department but the uh, harrison county tax authority and tell them enough is enough we want to support family farms for everyone that doesn't know, the average age of the farmer in the United States is somewhere in the low 60s. So 60 years old. We're about to have no more farmers in this country. We are a dying breed. We import all of our food, or the majority of our food, from overseas. Why? We have fertile land all across this nation. Why? Because people like us that want to go out here and risk and do and be more and grow and utilize this land are punished. We say, all right, we want to stick our necks out government comes and knocks on the door you will pay us thirty-one thousand dollars to live here now you know now we're gonna have to protest that and of course they'll probably go down on it a little bit but that means we can't hire another foreman that means we can't give my sister a raise that means we can't do any of these things to better and improve the local economy because they want to steal from us not because they want to because they will and they'll do it by force we hope that you stand up. I hope that you share this message with people that you think may care enough to promote local family farms because it is time that this comes to an end.